Merry Christmas to you and your family this holiday season. Thanks for listening to CFC's daily Christmas podcast. We hope that this podcast, from the staff of CFC, encourages you and inspires you this holiday season. We would love to invite you to join us on December 23rd at 10 a.m. for Acoustic Christmas and December 24th at 4 or 6 p.m. for Christmas Eve. For more information, visit our website, www.cfcwired.org. I love Christmas. I love the lights. I love the food. I love the music. I love the wonder and anticipation of this time of the year. And I love the manger scenes. Mary, radiant as a new mother, sharing the miracle of her new baby with all those people and animals that have come to steal a glance. Joseph always seems so strong and confident, standing vigil over Mary's shoulder, though I'm sure part of him felt anything but. The shepherds, the wise men, the barnyard critters, it's all so idyllic even as I'm sure it was far from the ideal for each of those involved. I mean, even the poor animals had it rough, having to share their quiet barn with a whole bunch of uninvited guests. And a little drummer boy? I don't care what anyone says, no one wants that in the middle of the night. I enjoy the manger scene so much, though, that I often forget that Jesus' entry into this world was far more than the seemingly idyllic delivery of the sweetest baby ever. Jesus comes as a baby, yes, but he also comes as an invader. And for those that feel like this just took a hard left, hang on, because that's exactly who Jesus is. He comes into a world held captive, in the grip of a villain more heinous than the worst movie bad guy you've ever seen. And just after the manger scene, we see the seriousness and the severity and the cost of this invasion that Jesus is launching into the kingdom of darkness. From the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 13 to 16. After the wise men were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, flee to Egypt with the child and his mother, the angel said. Stay there until I tell you to return because Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. That night, Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary, his mother, and they stayed there until Herod's death. This fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet, I called my son out of Egypt. And Herod was furious when he realized that the wise men had outwitted him. He sent soldiers to kill all the boys in and around Bethlehem who were two years old and under, based on the wise men's report of the star's first appearance. This doesn't fit with the standard nativity scene at all nor would I ever recommend it be displayed as such. And yet it is such a real part of the story of Jesus' birth. He is born into enemy territory, an invader parachuting in behind enemy lines, mercilessly hunted by his adversaries as he begins his mission of setting free the sons and daughters of God that are currently held captive by sin and by evil. And he doesn't come at the head of a legion of warrior angels, but rather as a seemingly helpless babe. And though he is far from helpless, his introduction to the world is one of such glorious innocence that it helps me to turn and face the world once more at this time of year with an even greater appreciation of what Christmas is all about. It's about recognizing that there can be joy in the midst of pain. It's about willfully embracing peace even when surrounded by chaos. It's about choosing hope when despair seems all but certain. It's about joyfully crying out with delight as light begins to penetrate the deepest, blackest night. There is so much at this time of year that can be a source of bitterness and frustration, pain and despair, grief and heartache. And if we're not careful, we can get so focused on the manger that we forget there were so many at the time of Jesus' birth that felt those same things and asked those same questions. How long, God, until things get better? When will things change? When will the hurting stop? And the message of the manger isn't a facade of happiness. It's not a cute Christmas card picture oblivious to the realities of the world around it. Rather, it's the kingdom of God come bodily to earth in defiance of darkness. It's the message in the eyes of a conquering baby boy who very serenely 
and very seriously says to the world, it's going to be okay. I'm here. This has been a podcast devotion of CFC. Please join us on December 23rd and 24th and Merry Christmas.